So I'd like to take a look at the code that's included with the materials for this topic. In particular, these two bottom classes, bank account and uh, bank driver, we'd like to look at those in more detail. I named those starting with an X, not because that's normally uh, standard practice, but because I wanted them to appear last in the list because they're the most complex of these, uh, these pieces of code. So in the bank account class, we see that a bank account has a balance, which is a double value because it has a decimal point. And we have two different constructors. We have a zero argument constructor that just initializes the balance to zero. And then we have a constructor that takes a value. And so it'll initialize the balance of this class to whatever balance is passed in. And then we have two methods as well. Both of them are void. The first one is a deposit method that adds the amount that's deposited to the balance. And the second is a withdrawal method that just withdraws the amount, uh, so subtracts it from the balance. And then in the bank account driver class, we create two instances of bank accounts. So I have account one and account two. Account one, I didn't pass in an argument to the constructor, so the balance is going to be zero dollars. And then for account two, I gave it an initial balance of 250. And then we print out the two accounts, sorry, and then we deposit $250 into the first account. So theoretically, now both accounts should have the same amount of money. And then we print out the accounts again, and then we just do a quick test and say, if account one is equal to account two, then we want to print out that the accounts have the same balance. Otherwise, we want to print out that they have different balances. So I'm going to run this, and you're going to see that it fails spectacularly. So what we see here is basically garbage gets printed out when I try to print out the accounts. And also it says the accounts have different balances, even though by the time it gets here, they should both have $250 of them. So we're going to look at how to fix these problems. What happens is when we call system.out.println with an object reference, like account1 or account2, it tries to call the toString method of the object. So this, um, this class doesn't have a toString method, so the default behavior, which is uh, defined in object, which is the root of the Java hierarchy, the default behavior is to print out, as you saw, the name of the class, and then this information is related to the address of where this class instance is stored in the computer's memory. So that's probably not the behavior that we want. So what we can do is we can make a toString method that returns a nicer thing. So we're going to return the balance is, let's put a dollar sign there. OK, so now when I run this program again, it'll have to be over here and I have to save everything. Now I get a much nicer message, right? The balance is $0, the balance is $250, and then after I deposit money into the first account, the balance is $250 for both of them. So that's much better. So notice that to get that to happen, I needed to name this method exactly like this. It needs to be public, it needs to return a string, it needs to be called toString, and it can't take any arguments. If I follow exactly this signature, then when I call uh, system.out.println, that will get called automatically. If I name that method anything else, it won't get called automatically. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video, and then I'm going to make a second one in which we fix our remaining problem where it says the accounts have different balances, even though they clearly are equal.